Lily Kane, Megan Roddy, and Elizabeth Essner organized this wonderful exhibition, The Good Making of Good Things, all about the history of Craft Horizons and the role of Rose Slivka. And having been recently kind of, you know, pouring over the digital archives, I just was really captivated by this idea that there was um, a periodical with a real mid-century identity that was tethered to the worlds of advertising and film, um, popular culture in various ways that was really the standard bearer of craft because craft graphics are often not necessarily the most avant-garde that you find in the, the graphic design world, sometimes um, very traditional. And I just was really surprised in a way to sort of think back, you know, wow, how, how avant-garde and kind of how experimental some of these covers were. And that that was sort of a clue to what was going on inside the magazine, that they were approaching um, things like Slivka's essay, The New Ceramic Presence, which generated lots of comment and controversy um, in her discussion of avant-garde ceramics, that there was, um, a, a parallel going on sort of between the graphic, the covers, the design, and the content. Her mother uh, was a fiber artist and also worked as a textile conservator at the Metropolitan Museum. And her husband, David Slivka, was a sculptor who didn't always work in clay, but worked in clay enough for it to be significant. She herself, I think, was not wedded to any single material, and she also wasn't a collector, per se. She sort of didn't come out of um, a particular collecting or making tradition personally. So that probably gave her a little bit of flexibility, you know, to sort of say, what are what are the kind of strangest new things happening in enamel or weaving? Um, so the magazine, it seems over the decades, pivoted a bit back and forth. Like certain, you can see it in the covers and you can see it in the essays. There's a whole issue devoted to the arts of Appalachia that's quite traditional. Um, and then, the, you know, there are articles about plastic and, um, you know, space age fashion. Um, it really kind of runs the gamut, and I think um, certain issues probably uh, seemed overly conservative or overly traditional to some readers, and some issues probably seemed just wacky and crazy and, uh, you know, out of line to, to other readers. So I, I think in a sense, the fact that Rose sort of couldn't win is a testament to the fact that she was just like exactly the right person to be doing this job because she was able to open the tent wider.